If you're paying attention, you probably noticed a rattle. I wanna show you where that rattle's coming from. Let me turn the phone around here. So unfortunately, I don't have a good place to store my clamps. So what you're hearing is these guys rattling down here. Because of all the rattling in the garage, I don't feel like I can give you accurate distortion measurements, but I can give you a frequency response. So let's use Room EQ Wizard to run some sweeps and see what happens. All right, this is really consistent with what WinISD said we should get. There is a peak at 50 hertz with a roll off as the frequency drops and then a smaller peak just below 25 hertz. That's that passive radiator kicking in and doing its job, giving that low end extension. Look what happens when you start tinkering with the controls on the amp. So first, let's try a crossover at 105 hertz. I'm picking 105 just because there's a 105 labeled on the crossover, not for any particular reason. The green line here is with the crossover at 105 hertz. You can clearly see the roll off in the upper frequency range. What if you want to flatten out that response a little bit? Let's try setting the EQ to about 50 hertz and then pulling the level down by about 10 dB. This is what it looks like with the Q all the way up. You get a very wide cut in output, which is not what you want if your goal is to get rid of that peak at 50 hertz. If you want to target a specific frequency, you turn that Q all the way down that gives us this orange line right here on the plot. You can see it matches the blue line at 50 hertz and then merges back with the original green line at around 35 hertz and 65 hertz, meaning above and below that frequency, it's got no impact whatsoever on the sound. 